Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. And we've seen some very nice rain today. Nothing severe, just some welcome precipitation across our area that will help uh, alleviate some of those fire concerns and also help wash away some of those allergens in the air. So this rain is certainly welcome. It's good to see and there's more of it on the way right now. Just some sprinkles coming down across the Tulsa area as this first wave of rain moves out of the metro. But you can see still quite a bit of rain north and east of Tulsa from Bartlesville over toward Grove down through Muskogee as well. Let's zoom in on the Tulsa Metro. You can see the back edge of that rain now moving through the western sides of downtown. So expect the rain to end here in Tulsa over the next few minutes, but it's still raining pretty heavily down to our south and east near Salisaw moving into Fort Smith now as this first wave of rain moves out of eastern Oklahoma. Down to our south and west, though, our next wave taking shape across northwestern Texas. This will be moving into our area as we head through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning as well. So again, the rain is not done. So got a few more rounds to come through our area. So, so far though, around three quarters of an inch has fallen here at the Tulsa International Airport. A little bit more than that in Old Camogie, uh, over an inch in McAllister, the same in Muskogee, and almost an inch over toward Bartlesville. Check out the totals out to our west though. OKC over two inches. Two and a half inches over toward uh, Chickasha, where they're seeing more in the way of heavy rainfall. They're about to see some more, too. That's why they still have that flood watch out to our west until Tuesday morning. Again, no watches and warnings for us. It looks like mainly the heaviest rain will stay just off to our west over the next couple of days. Temperature wise right now across the metro, kind of cooler. 62 right now in Jinx, 67 in Sky Took, 65 right now in the Owasso area and some low 60s showing up in Okmulgee and also 63 in the Bartlesville area. 73 still holding on in Grove. So again, it's, gonna, it's been a little bit cooler today thanks to the rain around by about 5 to 10 degrees cooler than yesterday. So far, we hit 71 degrees before the rain arrived, and that's right around normal for this time of year. Only bottomed out this morning at around 62 degrees. So here's your Monday planner. We expect rain throughout most of the overnight tonight, continuing into tomorrow morning, about a 70% chance for that morning commute. We'll continue with a 60% chance by noon. Then those rain chances start to go down as we head toward the afternoon hours. Highs around 69 by 4 p.m. So again, most of the rain tomorrow are during those morning hours. So here's the big view showing that large upper level low. It hasn't moved much from yesterday. It'll continue to stay out to our west, then slowly move east with time. Before it does that, though, It'll still bring us multiple rounds of rain. So here's a look at future track. That second round moving back in late tonight into the overnight hours, sticking around for the morning commute. And we'll see off and on rain chances for the afternoon, but notice not a whole lot showing up for tomorrow afternoon, again, mainly in the morning. Then we'll see another round of rain as we head toward Tuesday, uh, especially toward Tuesday night into Wednesday as well. Another round sparking up toward Wednesday afternoon. And then finally, as we head toward Thursday morning, that system moves away. We're looking at drier, warmer, and pretty sunny conditions as we head toward the latter part of the work week. So this is what we're looking at as far as accumulated rainfall totals, at least through Wednesday afternoon, maybe up to two inches here in Tulsa, three to four to five out to the west, and possibly two to three down to the south of Tulsa. Here's a look at the lows tonight. Again, mainly in the upper 50s, low 60s, a really good chance for some more rain especially after about 9 or 10 p.m. 60 degrees to start things off here in Tulsa, 63 tomorrow morning in the Shakota area, some more lower to mid 60s down to the south of our area as well. Here's a look at tomorrow afternoon, low 70s common. Again, it's going to be rainy for the morning hours, then partial clearing toward the afternoon. Temperatures pretty much very similar to what they were today with south winds at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Next seven days, again, the rain chances stay with us through at least Tuesday and Wednesday, but notice just down to a 30% chance for Wednesday. Maybe some rain in the morning. That's about it for Thursday. Then after that, things look really nice. Lots of uh, sunshine and temperatures in the 80s for next weekend. Should be really nice. Just in time for the weekend. I like yes, that. And we need right. the rain. We do very much. All right, John. Thanks. Now it's time for sports.